To date, 4,370 exoplanets have been discovered in 3,230 different star systems, and that's a lot. It seems as though, as time goes by, the number of planets we're discovering outside of our own solar system is increasing exponentially. Does this phenomenon mean that our odds of finding another planet like Earth have gone up as well? Welcome to Fact Nominal, and we're dishing out the details on some recent celestial breakthroughs in new Earth-like planets that have recently been discovered. The Breakdown It took a really long time to discover the first exoplanet. Scientists knew that they have to be out there. It just wasn't until 1995 that we had confirmation that our solar system wasn't a fluke or a cosmic one-off. There were other planets out there. Then we have the ambiguously named super-Earths, or planets with mass 1 to 10 times that of our planet. 1,329 exoplanets have been confirmed as super-Earths so far, or a little under a third. This name is misleading, however, as they can be made up of rock, gas, or a combination of both. They can range from hot Jupiters, orbiting so close to their stars that they're essentially fiery orbs of doom, to being so far away from their sun that they're cold, inert balls of rock devoid of any atmosphere, and everything in between. That brings us to the Earth-like planets, between 0.5 and 1.5 times the size of our blue world, and this time, the name isn't just misleading clickbait. The age-old question of whether Earth is unique in the universe and whether others could support organic life has been answered. Around every star exists a habitable zone, Rocky super-Earths in this range are called Goldilocks planets, where the temperature is not too cold as to form ice, not too hot to form steam, but just right for the existence of liquid water. Based on what we know, carbon-based life needs water to survive, so it's these planets that have the best chance of finding ETs and little green men from outer space. Added bonus, the ability to support life makes them ideal candidates to set up human colonies. We just need to figure out a way to travel the mind-bogglingly huge distance first. As you would expect, these planets are exceedingly rare. Only 24 Earth-like planets have been detected so far. This begs the question, which of these are best suited to support life? Number 5. Kepler 1649c while looking through old observations from the Kepler Space Telescope retired in 2018, astronomers stumbled across a hidden gem in April of this year. It turns out a computer algorithm misidentified an exoplanet, and not just any exoplanet, one with a rocky composition that sits in the Goldilocks zone. If the data sent back by the Kepler Space Telescope was not analyzed manually, then we may have missed one of our best chances at finding life outside of our solar system. It's very similar in size to the Earth, but little is known about its atmospheric composition, whether it does contain water, and the topographical landscape. It only receives 75% of the light that we do, but it's enough to support life. It's relatively close to its red door, with a year lasting a brief 19.5 Earth days. The big worry is whether the constant bombardment of the surface of Kepler 1649c with ionizing radiation has either prevented the formation of life or periodically kills it off, only to start again. Red doors are notoriously unstable, and such close proximity lends itself to an unstable environment on the exoplanet. Despite it having an Earth Similarity Index, or ESI, of 0 0.90, the human race will almost never certainly get close to it, due to it being 300 light-years away. Number 4. TRAPPIST-1d The TRAPPIST-1 system is a literal treasure trove of Earth-like planets. All are rocky, and some may hold more liquid water than the Earth. At first, it was thought to contain three, and then later two, and finally on some closer inspection, an amazing seven all with the potential to contain water in either solid, liquid, or gaseous states. TRAPPIST-1d is the one that astronomers are really excited about, sitting right on the edge of the habitable zone. It's much smaller than Earth, only 77% the size and having 41% the mass. It has a molten core and an atmosphere much like Earth's. Bizarrely, it orbits a rare ultra-cool dwarf star less than a tenth of the size of the Sun. But it's the little engine that could, having the ability to live up to 5 trillion years, or 500 times longer than our Sun. TRAPPIST-1d still receives just 4.3% more sunlight than the Earth, courtesy of it sitting so close to it. 
up to 5% of its mass could be liquid water. In comparison, that is 250 times the water found in all of Earth's oceans combined. This vast sea may have a frozen icy crust, but it's not certain whether any dry land would be present on the exoplanet. Number three, K272e. The Kepler Space Telescope picked up a peculiar exoplanet during its second light mission. It's remarkably similar to Earth. However, scientists are having trouble gathering information to fill in the gaps in its planetary story. So far, we know it's a rocky exoplanet, around 2.2 times the size of the Earth. It sits just one-tenth the distance from its star compared to our Earth's distance from the Sun, putting it in an orbit much the same as Mercury. Unbelievably, four other exoplanets sit in closer orbits to the K272 star. It's unusual in the fact that it's tidally locked to the Sun, meaning that one full rotation of the planet is equal to the duration of its solar year. This means that one side of the planet is bathed in constant sunshine and the back half is in perpetual darkness. It receives 11% more solar radiation and sunlight than the Earth, meaning the sun-facing side may be hot enough to evaporate water into steam. However, this isn't been confirmed yet. Most Earth-like planets don't have the conditions to boil off oceans. However, K272e is unique in that it may have a very broad temperature range between the frozen wasteland of the dark side in the scorching tip of the planet closest to the star. If there is dry land in this zone, then it's entirely possible that life exists in this temperature range, even if it's daytime the whole year round. Number two, TOI 700D. TOI 700D is the fruits of the labor of NASA's Transitioning Exoplanet Survey Satellite, called TESS for short. This program was developed in direct response to the first super-Earth ever discovered to find out if Goldilocks exoplanets really do exist. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope was used to help model the exoplanet's potential environments and assess its viability as an Earth-like planet. The star at the center of this system is a cool M-class, roughly 40% of the sun's mass and around half the surface temperature. TOI 700D is the outermost of four planets in the system and is a little chunky. 2.6 the mass of Earth. Despite its size, it does still sit well within the habitable zone of its star and does have a rocky composition. The data points to the exoplanet being almost completely covered by ocean and having a carbon dioxide heavy atmosphere with dense layers of cloud on its sun-facing side, similar to how scientists picture a young Mars. It's tidally locked, meaning that the planet may contain a huge ice cap covering the whole backside of the planet with the front half a mixture of oceans and rocky pinnacles of dry land. Number one, Tea Garden Star B. The pick of the bunch, Tea Garden Star B is almost exactly the same size and mass as Earth, with a 60% chance of having a temperate surface environment. It's very likely that the surface of the planet ranges from zero to 50 degrees Celsius, with the majority of the planet enjoying a balmy 28 degrees. This exoplanet is affectionately referred to as Earth 2.0, and for very good reason. It's much closer to its star, completing a solar year in just 4.9 Earth days. The closer distance doesn't matter as the red dwarf at the center of its system is much smaller and cooler than our sun. The good news is unlike other red dwarfs, this star is relatively stable and not prone to periodic emissions of damaging radiation from powerful solar flares. This little beauty has been awarded with the highest ESI score ever, coming in at 0.95. At 12 light years away, it's currently the fourth closest Earth-like planet and the best candidate for further study. Scientists want to know more about its atmospheric composition and whether the gases present closely resemble the nitrogen-rich, oxygen-containing air of Earth. Current analysis points to the possibility that the surface is home to an ocean of water. Sadly, with our current aerospace technology, it would take an astounding 208,430 years to travel to Tea Garden Star B, and that's only a one-way trip.